Hi, my name is Ali Shesava, and in this short video, we're going to talk about how you set up your equipment to carry out a pre compliance test for EMC directives conducted emission testing. Um, so first I'd like to stress that this is for pre-compliance testing. The uh, test setup for compliance testing is actually quite complicated, depends on the standard. However, because everything is relative, this is something that you can set up within your own lab and you can get a very good uh, advanced pre-compliance testing going before you go to the testing house. Uh, first thing that you need is a ground plane. I've got one here. Now in the standards uh, they actually specify how big the ground plane should be, whether it's vertical, horizontal, the distances and so on. Obviously unless you have got a complete uh, compliant test lab in your, in your uh, um, um, a company, then that is not possible. What I did though was to get a ground plane. I just ordered a piece of um, aluminium from the internet for less than 15 euros and I made a connection to the aluminium and I covered both sides with uh, some uh, sticky uh, sheets uh, to make sure that it doesn't blow anything up. But you still get high frequency coupling, it is not a problem. You require a nice thick cable uh, so that high frequency can go down from the ground plane into the listen and couple to the listen. Now, this is a a pre-compliance listen um, and uh, regardless uh, what, what type of listen it is on the back of it there will be a connection for the ground plane now what you really require is a big thick cable so that you've got high frequency coupling but for the purpose of this video I've just put a banana plug it's not the best setup but uh, it's uh, at least you can disconnect it quite easily so you connect the uh, high frequency ground connector or chassis to the ground plane and then your listen sits here on the ground plane. Then for DC DC product, uh, if you have got a uh, DC DC product that has got three cables, so if it has got positive, negative, and uh, ground, then you power your product with the cables that goes to positive of your power supply that goes to the negative of your power supply and that goes to ground. That will then get connected to the back of the listen and then you power your product with this cable to the front. If you have got a two wire DC system then obviously at the front you do not have this connected because there is no chassis. Let's say that your product is in a plastic box. Now uh, I'm going to power this up in a minute so that we can see it uh, working uh, on uh, the uh, spectrum analyzer and on the back I'm going to connect positive, negative, chassis or protective earth. Many listens do not have a different connector apart from this IEC connector on the back. So what I have done is I have created my own cable, but please be careful where the uh, positive and negative go, because obviously for a DC system, if you get it the wrong way around, you may blow things up. So that also goes on the back. Now I have got 12 volts coming through the listen and I'm ready to connect my product. So the listen sits here. And then, as I said, for a three wire system with DC, you will connect these to here. For two wire, you only need these two. And if you've got an AC system, then obviously you use the Shuko uh, that is available in front of the listen. But please be aware that if you're using an AC system, then you must have an isolation transformer, one like so, because otherwise you will blow up the uh, RCD because of the big capacitors that are between line and neutral to protective earth, it will pop the RCD. So for DC, you don't need this. For AC, you must have one. Okay. So then, I've powered up. The power is going through the listen. All I need to do is connect up my power supply. This is a two-wire system, so plus to plus, minus to minus. And you'll see that my power supply is now operating. Finally, I need to connect up my spectrum analyzer. You connect that on the output 
and there we go, we can see the spikes. A uh, couple of words of warning, uh, if you are going to turn power supplies on and off, please don't forget to disconnect this from your spectrum analyzer because you may damage the front end. And also please note that this represents a 50 ohm load onto the listen. So in order to make sure that everything is balanced, when you look at the BNC co um, connectors of your listen, uh, if you have got two BNC connectors, one for positive, one for negative or one for live, one for neutral, then you need a 50 ohm terminator uh, to make sure that everything is balanced. If you want to measure the uh, noise on live or on positive, you put the terminator on the neutral, and if you want to measure it on the other line, you put the terminator on this line. Many compliant listeners don't have two BNC connectors, they only have one, but they do have one switch that when you flick, does the, exactly this action with an internal resistor. So as you can see now, I'm measuring the noise on this spectrum analyzer for this power supply. Thank you very much for listening and please visit Breacher's website in order to download a PDF of exactly how these equipment are, are connected as well as the fantastic workshops that we run uh, for designing um, EMC filters.